Hey folks, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be understanding the stream real time feature in Google AI Studio, where I'll be walking you through looking at talking to Gemini with audio, showing your webcam and displaying something and getting back a response from Gemini and additionally sharing your screen to Gemini and maybe coding. I'm going to be sharing my terminal out there. So let's just get started. So we're going to start off by going to Google AI Studio. If you have missed the previous video on uh, updates around Google AI Studio where we looked at the Gemini 2.0 flash and we look at all these features in detail, you can check out that video link, that link's in the description, you can check that out. So now let's just go ahead and talk to Gemini and we're going to be having a conversation with Gemini where we'll be giving the input in audio and getting an output in audio too. So I'm going to click on talk to Gemini. It's connecting. Hi Gemini, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. How can I help? Can you tell me more about Google AI Studio? Google AI Studio is a web-based tool for creating and experimenting with generative AI models. It allows you to rapidly produce in image generation applications, among others. Can you tell me more about the Gemini 2.0 flash model? The Gemini 2. Zero flash model is designed... Gemini, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Can you tell me more about Sundar Pichai? Sure, Sundar Pichai is the CEO of Alphabet, Google's parent company. He's been a key figure in Google's development. He joined the company in 2004. All right, Gemini, and has since if I want to become the CEO of Google, what do I do? That's a great goal. Becoming CEO of Google requires a combination of exceptional skills, experience, and leadership. It typically involves All right, thank you, Gemini. experience in technology and business, a strong track You can stop here, Gemini. So this is how you can okay. see we Sounds good. So this is how you can see we have used interruptions even when Gemini was speaking we interrupted it but it did not lose flow. Now we're, we're going to be testing something if it has a memory if it remembers what we had talked about. Gemini, can you summarize the conversation that we had? Yes, I can do that. We discussed Google AI Studio, the Gemini 2.0 flash model, Sundar Pichai, and what it takes to become the CEO of Google. Thank you, Gemini. And once you're done, you can just click on disconnect, clear it and go to a new stream. So this is how we're using the stream real time feature to talk to Gemini live. Now I want to show my webcam and I'm going to be showing it some text in Hindi, which I expect Gemini to translate to English and give me a answer in English and Hindi. So if I click on show Gemini, that's me. And I'm going to bring this up here. Gemini, what do you see on my webcam? The notebook in the video says, Bharat ki Rajthani kya hai? Which translates to, what is the capital of India? Can you please answer the question in H English and Hindi? Okay, the answer to, what is the capital of India? Is New Delhi in English. In Hindi, it's Nay Delhi. And here you can see it has successfully extracted text from my video and it's translated that to English too. The other example that I'm going to be giving it is a right angle triangle and I'm going to ask it to calculate the value for one of the sides. What do you see on my screen Gemini? I see a drawing of a right triangle on a piece of paper. The right angle is at the vertex labeled B and the two legs of the triangle are labeled 3 and 4. The hypotenuse of the triangle Can is you please labeled, calculate the value of the missing side? Sure. The length of the missing side, which is the hypotenuse, is 5. This can be found using the Pythagorean theorem, which states that a squared plus b squared equals c squared. In this case, 3 to the power of 2 plus 4 to the power of 2 equals 9 plus 16 equals 25 and the square root of 25 is 5. And here you can see we use Gemini to actually solve a mathematics problem that I displayed on my camera. So that's the power of the new Gemini 2.0 flash model with the stream real time feature. And now the one that I'm most excited about is the share your screen feature where I can show Gemini what I'm working on on my live screen and I can ask questions, I can solve my problems there. So if I click on share screen and... You're welcome. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. Can you tell me about what you can see on my screen right now? 
Certainly. I can see a Medium article titled Machine Learning with Google Sheets by Ariane Irani. There's also a video thumbnail with a drawing of a colorful bird and the text Machine Learning in Google Sheets. The article appears to have three claps. Can you tell me more about the highlighted text on my screen? Yes, the highlighted text reads, what is simple ML for sheets? Below that, it explains that with simple ML for sheets, everyone can use machine learning in Google Sheets without knowing ML, without coding, and without sharing data with third parties. Now the next interesting thing that we're going to be doing is I'm going to be sharing my terminal and I'm going to be asking it some simple commands like creating a new directory, uh, changing that directory, creating a new file in it, etc. What do you see on my screen, Gemini? I see a terminal window with a black background. The prompt shows Ariane Rani at Arians dash MacBook dash Pro dash five tilde percent. Behind the terminal window is All right, Gemini. If I want to create a new directory, how would I do that? You can use the mkdir command followed by the name of the directory you want to create. For example, to create a directory named test, you would type mkir test and then press enter. Uh, now that I've created the uh, directory, how do I switch to that directory? can use the cd command followed by the name of the directory. So in your case, you type cd test and press enter to switch to the test directory. Now I'm going to type in a wrong command and see whether it's able to do that. If I just do cdd and I go here, is the cd command correct on my screen? No, the cddd command is not correct. It should be CD to change the directory. Is it fine now? Should I click on enter? Yes, CD test is correct. And you should now press enter to change to the test directory. If I were to create a new file inside of this particular directory, how would I do that? To create a file named newfile.txt, you type touchnewfile.txt and press enter. Now, if I want to open up this file and enter data inside this txt file, how would I do that? You can use the nano command followed by the file name. For example, to open and edit newfile.txt, you would type nano newfile.txt and press enter. This will open the file in the nano text editor where you can enter your data. Now that I'm done filling in the data in the txt file, how do I come out of this file? To save and exit from the nano editor, you can press Control plus X. It will ask if you want to save the changes. Press Y for yes, and then press Enter. How do I escape now, since the file has been monif- Okay. Press the Enter key and you will exit the nano text editor. What if I want to print the contents of this file right now? How would I do that? You can use the cat command followed by the file name. For example, to print the contents of newfile.txt, you would type cat newfile.txt and press enter. Thank you, Gemini. You're welcome. Is there anything else I can assist you with? No, thank you. And once you're done, you can just click on disconnect and start a new stream. So this was a live demo of understanding the stream real time feature in Google AI studio, where we looked at talking to Gemini with a to and fro conversation. We asked it, we even interrupted Gemini just like a normal conversation. We additionally checked if it had a memory. It remembered what we talked about in the entire conversation. Additionally, I showed Gemini my webcam. I translated text from Hindi to English and even got a response in Hindi too. Additionally, I, we, we uh, demoed a right angle triangle and asked it to calculate the value for a missing site and it did that perfectly. In the end, we used the share your screen in Gemini to extract or to work with terminal 
and uh, cre create a new directory, create a new file, add data in the file, come out of that file and even print the contents of the file. So this was just a short demo of understanding the stream real time feature in Google AI Studio. Uh, the in-depth dive video of Google AI, what's new with Google AI Studio is out now. That link's in the description. You can check that out. If you like this video, then don't forget to like, share and for more content, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one.